back at the Top Gear office and pretending to be 17... Student living at home. I set about sorting the Beamer's insurance. How much? Ooh, 7,000 what? Pounds? I've been very sensible here. Look at this. I found a Suzuki Liana, which is small, sturdy, safe. Yeah. 1,300 quid. Yeah. Gives me 1,200 quid to spend. What, for insurance? On that won't in, be yeah, enough. 1,200 pounds, I guarantee it won't be enough. And he was right. <laughs> How do you feel now? Go on. 3,000. 377, as do we'll do it for 3 4. HSBC, 4,600. One quote direct, okay? <laughs> 8,007 pounds. I don't think they want the business. We ploughed through the options for hours. A student, full time, studying uh, uh, religion. James May. No, Adam Smith, sorry. Two and a half thousand pounds is 15 times more than the car is worth. No, but what you're saying is that I'm going to write it off completely 15 times a year. One thing I've learned is that the premiums for 17-year-old girls are half what they are for 17-year-old boys. Seriously? Half the money. Well, there's a Top Gear top tip right there. If you're a 17-year-old boy and need car insurance, slice your penis off. I would have done. I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I nearly did, I should say. No, I just... That explains a great many things. <laughs> The phoning went on until eventually we had a list of cars that could be bought and insured for less than two and a half thousand pounds. And it is like looking through the menu at a Scottish restaurant. Not much in it and nothing you want. I mean, look at that. Rover Metro, Citroen AX. Can you imagine a 17-year-old in a Suzuki <laughs> Wagon R Plus? <laughs> Thanks. One litre. Very good. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> It soon dawned on us that the only realistic way of getting covered when you are 17 is by going on your parents' insurance. So we got back on the phones, pretending to be Dad. No, no, we're only going to let him drive to the shops. Really, very, very rarely. No, no accidents in the last five years. Finally, we were in business.